Okay, so this is intubation, and some of the supplies you're going to need for this is obviously oxygen. You'll need a laryngoscope, and you'll want to, there's um, two different blades you can do for this, and this right here is the Miller blade, and it's straight. Um, we do not have a Macintosh blade in here, but it's curved. Um, you can think of Mac, or like it looks like an apple shape. Um, you will need, uh, you'll need items for suctioning to get secretions out of the way. Um, you'll need your inner tracheal tube, which uh, we're holding right there. Uh, you'll need a stylet to help shape the endotracheal tube. Um, you'll need an ETCO2 detector in order to make sure you are in the correct place um, and not in the esophagus. Um, you'll need a bag mask to provide them with oxygen. And then you'll need a manometer and equipment to secure the ET tube to the patient. Um, so now, and then a syringe to inject air into in order to uh, make sure the ET tube is secure in their uh, trachea. So now we will begin the procedure. And in this, you will always have an intubator and an assistant. Um, so as the intubator, I am going to bag the patient with the CNE technique and put them in the sniffing position, making it easier to put the ET tube in them. And while I'm doing this, Jen, my assistant, is getting the supplies I'll need ready. going to check the cuff before she... Yeah, so she's going to inject air into the cuff to make sure it is working and there's no leak. She has placed the stylet into the ET tube um, in order to help me... And shape it. Yeah, shape it in order to help it um, enter into the trachea. It appears that the uh, cuff is working. Maybe not. So then after she's done all that, she will hand me the laryngoscope. And then I will hand her my bag mask and she will get this ready with the ETCO2 and all that. And you always hold the laryngoscope with your left hand, whether it's your dominant hand or not. And like I said, put them in the sniffing position. You start in from the right side and you sweep the tongue to the left and you always want to go um, in an up or back motion, you never want to rock out because I don't think you'd be happy if you had your teeth knocked out. Um, so now this time I will ask her for the ET tube because I am visualizing the vocal cords. the stylet out and you never let go of the ET tube uh, because there's always a chance that it can move or you can lose it and I don't think nobody really wants to replace this so at this time we will inflate the cuff and then we will um, um, and then we'll put the ET tube directly on, I meant the ETCO2 tube, directly on the ET tube. And then we will look for that to turn a yellow color, and that will indicate that CO2 is present, and we are in the correct spot. And while we're doing that, we will continue to bag them. And then as for, then we'll take this off, and then we'll begin placement, or I meant securing this onto the patient. I was going to say it's not reaching. Really it's okay. Yeah, it goes like that. Mm -hmm. It's still not reaching, really but yeah. that is how it will look. 
Um, and then you'll have a ventilator hooked up to this, so they're still receiving the oxygen that they need. And that's it. Okay. Oh, what about extubation? Oh, as for extubation. So we'll take all this off. And you can do it in two different ways. Number one, you can simply, you have to obviously deflate the cup. <laughs> <laughs> um, but number one, you can uh, just simply pull it out and while well,